on June 19, 1946. Attorney Benjamin Romero Salvosa believed that education is a birthright, which led to the establishment of the Baguio Colleges. Notably as the first higher education in the city of Baguio, Baguio Colleges, which initially offered courses in teacher training and liberal arts, with 156 students as the first batch of enrollees. In 1947, Baguio Colleges opened its doors for grade school and high school students under the Baguio Colleges High School. In the 1950s, the growing student populace and the need for more space led to the construction of the Campo Filipino Campus and the establishment of the College of Law where the founder, attorney Benjamin Romero Salvosa, taught law and served as the first dean from 1952 to 1966. Since then, Baguio Colleges produced top caliber achievers. Later in the 50s, Baguio Colleges expanded further. From Campo Filipino Campus in 1967, it moved to its present location at the junction of Harrison and Governor Back Roads. It is in the same year that Baguio Colleges was converted into an educational foundation. Since then, Baguio Colleges has blazed new trails and has become more responsive to the needs of the time and became Baguio Colleges Foundation, where Attorney Benjamin Romero Salvosa acted as the Chairman of the Board of Trustees and as the President for Life. In 1976, Attorney Benjamin Romero Salvosa was awarded the father of higher education in the city of Baguio. The death of his youngest son, Gary Salvosa, occasioned the course offering of the UC College of Criminology in 1986. In 1987, the Research and Development Center was made operational in compliance with the recommendation of the Philippine Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities. This paved the way to the achievement of notable PAASCO accreditation, deregulated status level 1 by the Department of Education, and the pre-elementary course grant. The reconstruction and rehabilitation efforts led to the construction of the Science Building in 1992 and saw the rise of top board passers in the field of engineering and architecture. In 1998, Baguio College's foundation produced its first bar top-notcher, Janet Abuel, who has been named by President Rodrigo Duterte as officer in charge of the Department of Budget Management. During the bar exams of 2006, the University of the Cordilleras produced another bar top-notcher, Noel Malimban. The trimester program was introduced together with the founding of the College of Accountancy and the College of Nursing in year 2000. In November 22, 2003, the school was awarded with university status and became the University of the Cordilleras. In 2005, Project Helen was conceptualized to materialize the vision of the university in contributing development of the community and the larger society. 2005 also saw the founding of the College of Hospitality and Tourism Management and in 2006, the Evangelina di Salvosa building rose. The UC Center for Creative Productions was established putting University of the Cordilleras under the spotlight as Hall of Famers during Panagbanga Street Dance Competition in 2008. In 2009, the university developed a master development plan for the Burnham Park and was donated to the city government. From 2010 to present, University of the Cordilleras is enjoying its autonomous status granted by the Commission on Higher Education and has been certified with all quality standards. University of the Cordilleras has also been hailed champion in 2011 as the first and only team outside Manila to win the National Cheerleading Championship. 
The growing community of the University of the Cordilleras has led to the rise of the PE building and the Benjamin Romero Santosa building. In 2014, University of the Cordilleras has received the International Organization for Standardization Certification 9001-2008 from TUV Rhineland. In 2016, Campo Filipino Campus has been renamed to Campo Libertad in honor of Dr. Libertad D. Quetulio, who served as Executive Dean and Trustee of the Baguio Colleges and Baguio Colleges Foundation. It is within the same year that the Commission of Higher Education has awarded Centers of Excellence to three UC programs being offered by the College of Teacher Education, College of Information Technology and Computer Sciences, and College of Criminal Justice Education. 2016 also brought big changes to the university with the opening of senior high school and strand offering. University of the Cordilleras has partnered with U.S. Agency for International Development, Science, Technology, Research, and Innovation, or USAID Stride, and is among the selected seven higher education institutions in the Philippines for career center development training. Through the Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council for Industry, Energy, and Emerging Technology Research and Development, University of the Cordilleras has established the University of the Cordilleras Innovation and Nurturing Space, or UCNs. In 2019, University of the Cordilleras has been certified by TUV for ISO 9001 2015. University of the Cordilleras project was also among the 2020 National Commission for Culture and the Arts Competitive Grants awardees. During the pandemic, the University of the Cordilleras has provided assistance to its students and the community through relief operations and the deployment of COVID-19 surveillance mapping systems. 2021 is a huge leap as the Commission on Higher Education has allowed University of the Cordilleras to reopen the campus for the College of Nursing's limited face-to-face -face classes. University of the Cordilleras Technology, Innovation, and Global Education Towards Industry 4.0 This is the University of the Cordilleras, celebrating excellence built through humble beginnings.